In this brief video, we'll see how software from MacroView enhances the experience for members of Microsoft Teams who are looking to manage documents and emails in their Microsoft Teams site. Here in the Microsoft Teams web browser interface, we are working with a team called MacroView Consulting. As it creates the site for a new team, Microsoft Teams automatically creates a new document library and within that, a top level folder called General. The Files tab within the user interface shows us the contents of that general folder, which looks like three subfolders, each of which represents a project that we're working on. If we drill down and click on one of those projects, we see the files that are already stored in that area. There's a PNG, an Excel, a Word document, a couple of PDFs, and a number of email messages stored as MSGs. It looks like a design channel has also been created within our new uh, team site. That's why we are seeing this design folder at the same level as the general folder. Next, let's work in Microsoft Outlook. MacroView DMF or MacroView Message has been installed, which is why we are seeing this MacroView pane on the right side of our main Outlook window. MacroView automatically discovers and displays all the areas for which we've got permission. And here is the site collection that corresponds to our MacroView Consulting team site. If we expand that site collection, we see the structure that we were previously viewing in the Microsoft Teams web browser UI. The top level folders design and general, and then the subfolders within general corresponding to each of our projects. Clicking on the 100 Acme Inc. Uh, project folder, we see the same files as we saw previously in the Teams browser UI. If we click on a file, MacroView retrieves it from SharePoint Online and displays a formatted preview of it. There's a Word document preview and now a PDF. If we create a new folder here in the MacroView interface, that same new folder will also display in the Microsoft Teams UI. When it's initially created, the documents library in our new Teams site contains a single content type and view called All Documents. If we right click on that document and choose Provision Macro View Features, we'll add additional content types and views to our library so that it's much better for managing documents and emails. Here are the additional views that we've created, including email messages, which nicely displays the attributes of the emails that have been stored in our project folder here in our team site. And it also lets us drag and drop to save additional emails. Clicking on our project area, we see our newly stored MSG file. Going to the email messages view, we see that its attributes have been recorded automatically as well. As it saves an email to uh, SharePoint Online, including this team site, the MacroView software automatically assigns a name to the resulting MSG file in order to prevent duplicate copies of the email in any one area of SharePoint Online. If we go to the Teams UI in the web browser, we see that those same names are present on the files that have been stored. Here's our recently stored email from Elaine. With MacroView, we can also automatically file incoming and copies of outgoing emails into areas within our Teams site. We can do that using the personal email filing rules that are a standard part of MacroView DMF and MacroView Message. And we can do it even better by using an optional module for MacroView DMF and Message called Corporate Email Filing. Let's see how MacroView Corporate Email Filing makes it easy to file incoming and outgoing emails to our 104 new project area. <clears throat> Let's open this email from Dennis and choose Tag and Save. If it's an area we've saved to recently, its identification will be displayed in this pinned list of tags. If not, we can use Search and then click on the area and then OK. The tag corresponding to our area is inserted into the subject of our email and the email is automatically saved to SharePoint by CEF and marked with the appropriate orange category. If we forward that email, filing tag which is present in its subject will cause a copy of the outgoing email to be saved automatically to our 104 new project area. Here's our sent items with our newly sent email now being automatically saved. If we click on the 104 new project area, we will see our incoming and outgoing emails that have been automatically saved. The email messages view shows us their attributes that have been recorded automatically as they were saved.
MacReview also makes it convenient and intuitive to search for documents and emails stored in Teams sites. If we right click on a MacReview Consulting uh, Teams site and choose search this location and then the email search type, let's look for all emails where the automatically recorded to attribute contains the name Noel. The yellow bar indicates that the scope of the search is constrained to just the MacReview Consulting Teams site. And here are all the emails that satisfy our search criterion. Our search criteria can be a combination of metadata, such as the two, and the content of the email or its attachments. Only two emails satisfy our stricter search criteria, and clicking on one of the search results shows us a formatted preview. If we right click on that search result and use open file location, we are navigated to the area in SharePoint Online where that search result is stored, which is the project folder within our team site. MacReview helps us find occurrences of the word we are searching for. If we look closely, we can see that our stored emails have automatically been declared as records. Well, as we have seen, MacReview significantly enhances the experience for team members who are managing documents and emails. It makes it much easier to visualize the structure of the document libraries within team sites. It significantly improves the management of emails, including by drag and drop saving, prevention of duplicates, the automatic recording of email attributes as metadata and the viewing of that metadata, and also automatic filing of both incoming and outgoing emails. MacReview also makes it convenient and intuitive to search for documents and emails stored in Microsoft Teams sites. For more information about MacReview's support for Microsoft Teams and for our other solutions for generating and managing documents and emails with SharePoint, contact MacReview using these details.